So could you walk me through what exactly you're doing with this engine? Are these parts part of the same engine? Yeah. Okay. It's a two-cylinder? Yeah, it's a V-twin. Okay. Four-stroke. It's from Colby's four-wheeler over there, right? Yep. Okay. It's a brute force. This is the, the head, and this is the cylinders. Oh, right. You were taking it apart because it had water in it, I think? No, I'm taking it apart because uh, he uh, broke the transmission in it. Oh. That's a bit more severe. Yeah. All this stuff is good. The water didn't hurt anything. Okay. We, we got that all flushed out. Can we see the part of the broke, or is it kind of hidden by stuff? Well, I still got to press it out. Basically, that's the reverse shaft. Okay. This this thing here is what's broke. The high and low gear is actually, it's just stuck in one gear right oh, now. Okay. And I need to press all this out and get this to free up. Oh, that's why you got your new hydraulic press. Yep. Want to go and set that up? Yeah, we can. Okay. I can never figure out why. I mean, everything seems like it's shifting fine, but as soon as it gets into the high gear, this is supposed to turn, oh. but it doesn't. So that's what's jamming it up. I see. So. Okay, so my dad's garage has kind of become like a base for operations for all of his little projects, and especially redoing his bathroom. Before we bring in the, the hydraulic press and start assembling it, we're going to tidy it up a little bit. And thankfully, this new camera that I have has a, has a time-lapse feature, so I can try that. Look at that, that wasn't too bad. And the parts stayed clean. We really can't open up more engines with all this sawdust laying around. Wanna get, wanna get the, uh, your new press out? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. let's go get it. Let's assemble it too. Wait, that's it? Yep. Okay. I was, I was expecting them to be bigger. Yeah, for the price. How much did you pay for that? It's only 100, 140 times by tax and stuff. That's not bad. No. They got cherry pickers, they got all kinds of different things there. What? What? I'm take this back off. I'm afraid somebody, like me or Colby coming here, somebody will lay something on here. Yeah, that's true. Because we're we've done moving stuff around, so. I gotta clean everything really good anyway. Not just somebody else, I can yeah. see me doing it. Is this, is this the clutch? <laughs> yeah. That's weird looking. It's called a CVT clutch. CVT. Constant velocity. Oh, okay. Transmission. Oh, is that the one? With, does it have a belt on it? Yep. Okay. Weird. Belts. Yeah, the, the belt's up here, right? Oh, yeah. I already opened it. <laughs> See, my knife is so sharp, it's like butter. No, it's you have me to open it for you with a file. Oh, 
I like that paint. That paint's nice. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Japanese. Uh, good, I know a little bit of Japanese. <laughs> Take back the global grade. I've heard some people complain that they're a little flimsy, mm -hmm. but a lot of people just weld them up once they bolt them in. Yeah. You don't need to take it apart. After you that. can always modify it. Third time we dropped it, let's go for a fourth time. Fourth time, let's go for a fifth time. <laughs> The first test. <laughs> wow. What do you want to crush next? Okay, so here we have a little piece of trim, a little piece of wood, almost like cork. Go. Surprising amount of air inside of wood. That worked really nicely. Haha, uh -huh, there we go. That turned out pretty cool. Hey, Dad, you can make some nice, like, dies, and you could press metal shapes out if you needed. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Bring the two by fours over here. Let me just grab this. Oh. Oh, 
Well, that was surprisingly quick compared to most of the time taking out bearing, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're replacing the entire thing, or now you have to pull that apart? Yeah, see, this is supposed to come apart, but it's not. It popped down. The shaft did? Yeah, it popped yeah. out of the gear. It shouldn't be like that, should it? There's <laughs> obviously something wrong with that. Yeah. Is it cracked as it should be? I don't know if that two part bearing or what. Oh, yeah, it might be a two part bearing. I don't see anything that looks like it binds up, do you? No, see, I think it was just, I think it was just jammed. So here we have the little gear sprocket thing that won't go on the shaft. And that inside is supposed to be smooth and it is anything but smooth. Looks like someone welded in there. It's because it got so hot. There's so many little places for it to catch on the shaft. And there's a lot of places on the shaft for it to catch on here. So I'll try to sand it down a little bit, but probably, probably better just to buy a new one. So that went pretty well. Now we're gonna go to my house and get my welder. What was that you said? I'm not looking forward to this. Yeah. Train's trying to shut us up. Thanks. Here's the cables. So there we go. Instead of having this outside in my little shed where it's probably still is getting a little bit of weather and wear and tear, I have it over here at my dad's garage so he can use it and it will be, well, it'll be pretty safe while I'm over in California. Not counting, next year he's wanting to modify his trailer, so that'll be pretty good. I feel that it'll be a lot safer here. Well guys, I say it's a pretty productive day. The garage looks pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya.